Go ahead, let's, let's see the curse. Let your husbands and wives become widows. Let your children become fatherless. Let, Let you your become seed widows. become vagabonds. Death. Wait, right, run that back again. She goes. Oh, that's what it said. Hold on. Accusations, slanders, and lies. May the mercies of God be withdrawn from you. May your husbands and wives become widows. Let your children become fatherless. Let your seed oh, become so vagabonds. Christy. That's so very Christian. I mean, this I, I is wish, actually I very wish you Christian. Dead, I wish your husbands and wives become widows. She's and, such a, in and, Jesus' name. And by the way, why is she saying this? Because people on the internet commented that maybe her marriage to Derek Jackson wasn't very good. Mm, yeah. <laughs> and the response yeah. was to murder. Uh, Yo, what's up, Square Pimp Brigade? On this episode, we discuss how much of a fraud Derek Jackson is, the, the serial... Uh, cheetah and uh, slash relationship guru, relationship guru, clown, cheating, cheating, and and he's cheating and going to church from going to church from nine to six, and then cheating from six on. He's happened multiple many multiple when we talk about the man of spear, toxic women, and there's no such thing as a good one. Um, this one is a good one. We just you and me. Yeah, man. We we break family, down kicking it, getting break, with it. We break down one of uh, we called this like a year ago. Yeah. Uh, that this would happen again yeah. because he's a fraud and we just break down why he's a fraud what you should avoid doing plus uh and, you know we go over to patreon.com slash manschool 202 where we do our bonus show if you want to join us and subscribe to patreon it uh, helps us keep the show going it helps us uh come up with the finances to produce the show and we do all the bonus content we talk a lot of strategy over there and we continue this week's bonus show uh talking about being righteous uh spotting liars and uh, spotting red flags and how to do that and the, the value of it and the value of being able to say no. All those things over patreon.com slash manschool202. Plus, if you want to do any relationship consultations, you can email me at advicefromharry at gmail.com or you can go to uh, dantenero.com and click on consult. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't. Yo, what's up, Square Pit Brigade? GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited. Um, we um, how you feeling, Harry? You good? I'm feeling great, man. Listen, I'm I'm living my life, having a tough time keeping these alligators down. I'll tell you who I am doing a lot better than is uh, Derek Jackson. That's who. That's who I'm doing a lot oh, better what, than. What happened with this now? I know you would kind of mention it, but we were okay. So just to, to Derek Jackson was one of these uh, relationship gurus. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, one. he was the dude that bought the Home Depot boxes. Oh, he might have. Yeah, because he was moving out or something. So, no, 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 no. This was so first of all, he was a dude. Do we can we bring a clip up of him and his bullshit? Let this, me find a clip of him. Yeah, you, yeah I'll uh, keep running my mouth while you're looking for it. Um, But he would uh, he would he was like the guru and he was like, you know, you all you queens, all the queens out there, you know, don't settle for less. Tell him, telling women to leave their man and all kinds of shit. And he he's this and he that which look, don't don't get me wrong. I'm not an advocate in no shape or form of 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 uh, people dealing with relationships that are that are um, abusive or emotionally or physically. I mean, I absolutely uh, in a, are in accord with um, the fact that you shouldn't stay in a relationship, but to understand so that it, this is not him. I, we're, I'm with you on that. This is not to me. This is not get out of abusive. This is he never gives any accountability towards women ever. That's where yeah. his money, his bread is buttered by telling women what they want to hear right. to like a weird degree. Like it's never their fault or their responsibility whatsoever. Let me see if I could pull up a, I which have is, a, which is literally an impossibility that two people are in a relationship and, and one is a hundred percent like they, I mean, that's just not, that's just not realistic. I mean, to the same token, don't be our Lord and savior. <laughs> Kevin Samuels. No our name Lord above that name. Cam, Kevin Samuels. He Let's would uh, often not take any accountable you are not for everybody, woman. Which have one you want to Oh, wait, there he one. is talking about women. Um, a loyal woman's love will fool you. Modern women are not scared of being single. Oh yeah, that sounds like some horse Which shit. One? Modern women are not of. Uh... Let's see here. 
Hold on, where's the sound? Relationships, but you can't scare them with that whole, oh, you're gonna be single forever, as a response to them raising their standards, because they understand things older generations didn't. Like, they know they're gonna get called stuck up sometimes, but that it's also better to be called stuck up than to keep getting attached to men who only drag them backwards. And they don't carry that, that paranoia of overthinking whenever they lose interest in men who under deliver on the things that they promise. Like, they don't. First of all, uh, this is a big thing that he's doing is, uh, he is doing an, he's pretending that he's being interviewed by somebody and all right. his videos are like this. So he's looking right. off camera, bro, right. you're shooting these videos. Why are you looking off camera? Who are you giving this interview to? There's nobody. Right. It's just, that's the first thing that bugs me about it. Yeah. So but, it's, it's disingenuous. Plus yeah. that quilted dumb jacket annoys hmm. the F out of me. Like, <laughs> why does your jacket look like an oven mitt? You jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have that they, they're not weighed down by guilt from scaring men away because they know that those men were probably already scared of accountability consistency and commitment there we go so the men are scared that's why you are single is the men are scared of accountability what a jack off and he's a big he's a big god fella right he's a religious god fella uh and i guess he met his wife through the church or something i'm trying to get as many de the details right as i can um so remember we watched the video last time the apology video that he made now the apology let's go through why the why he gave an apology video he gave an apology video because of the fact that he he got caught cheating now the interesting part of the fact that he got caught cheating was also the fact that he literally uh he was he like so these women was checking for him, which is really the fact that you talk about not being afraid of of accountability. And I, I mean, not not being scared off of some. So these women who went on w watches his channel, right, knew that he was married, slid in his DM in order to 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 to, to get the hammer. They was all trying to get the hammer on the low. Right. Because what they don't. What the what you don't want to take talk about is the the uh, the fact that women it, there's a genetic aspect of and this is something that I haven't talked about a lot. There's a genetic aspect of 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 dating that that nobody wants to take into consideration is that there's an instinctual drive and there's a way that things are women are are designed to be with the strongest male, the richest male, the the most uh, charismatic, those things because well, strongest every... richest is richness is just falls under the category of strength. Right. So it's strength, not, yeah. ability to provide, a, you know, all of those things that women find attractive. And and so to to not understand that, that there's a genetic propensity for women to want to mate. And I'm, I'm using mate because we're reducing relationships and attraction to a visceral a visceral level this is just what you feel this is not a cognitive idea it's just instinctual we're instinctual. still we're still animals we're just very complex and smart animals but at the end of the day we are still operating on the instinct of survival by and breeding not that not and i don't want to say that we can't we can't um it, it's not that we can't deal with the fact that there's a cognitive idea of monogamy that we can go to and and that men and women can choose to to deal with things in a certain way a from a different perspective the problem is that you have to take into consideration all of the aspects of what builds attraction what maintains attraction and there's so little put on now that because of therapy and because of people are talking about communication that they're not they, it's it's almost like it's the pendulum is swaying swing all the way the other way when now instinct doesn't matter the, the 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 preservation of the species all of a sudden that doesn't matter at all the fact that men want to want to instinctually the as men as a species as the male portion of the species wants to impregnate and and spread his sperm there is a desire to spread his sperm to as many women as possible because that is what the immortality is the immortality is not is not which is interesting because he's a church dude is not the the kingdom of heaven the, uh, the on an instinctual level immortality is moving your dna to the next 
generation. That's how you live forever. You consistently move your, your to the same token for the preservation of the species. Women are most attracted to the the highest. I, I don't want to say highest value because that's not you know that talks to the social aspect, but to the strongest man, the most muscular, the most aggressive, the most the one that. Oh, a woman can, on a visceral level, feels like he's going to keep her keep her safe and keep her children safe and provide for the children. And that is a visceral feeling. It's not a cognitive thought. Mm. So to not deal with the fact that there is a there is an emotional feeling is just absurd. It's it's the fact that we're we're gonna we, we can't even talk about biology anymore because of the fact that there are other aspects that. That we found out that are you know that are in, that are in place and that have always been in place since the inception of 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 the species. So this guy goes. And another thing that, that beats the hell out of me is because he's a church dude, right? Which mm. is always the, the the you know you speak the, about this in terms of the biblical terms of this, but there's contradictions in everything that you do. So you and I'm not saying What's that you can't make list? mistakes. We're, we're biased because we're not religious people, but if you break it down factually, especially in Christianity, I can't speak towards the other religions because I was raised in Christianity. There's contradictions within the book itself, within the Bible. There's things that contradict everything that else that happens, and there's always contradictions. And the religious people, we see it time and time again, they always purport to live their life a certain way based on the religion but they conveniently pick and choose what they want out of the religion. And then you find out like nine times out of 10, this is what it is. This dude is trying to pretend to be religious. And then he he does it to, you know, to put up a front. And then he's out on the side just banging thoughts. Banging thoughts. Yeah, <laughs> that's going to be a new album I'm gonna which, put out called yeah. Banging Thoughts. Which book of the, of, the, of the New Testament tells you to go out and bang a thought? Leave now, your wife. This, and this is how what a what a what a clown he, he was. So when he got busted, he had hired he had had a girl meet him in the house. I guess his his wife at the time it was his wife. I forgot about this detail. The Home Depot. Now I'm remembering the Home right. Depot. So boxes. He, I know because I remember this because this says everything. He went out and bought Home Depot moving boxes because he had sold this chick. Uh, uh, a, 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 a he had a told story. her he was separating because he's a public figure. Everyone knows right. he has a wife on his Instagram right. page. So he had told whoever this this chick that he was screwing. Now nah, we're separating. I'm moving. And to make it look like he was moving, I guess she was out of town or something for the weekend. Right. He brought in boxes. Allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly. This is the only by the way, uh, as as far as game and, and cheating, I yeah. much respect to him. Like, that's an amazing move. Right. Uh, well, it's I'm not. It's really not. Religion. It's not. I don't think it's if you're a cheater. It's an amazing move. If you're fine no, with being a scumbag, a, it's a shit move in, in, in any yeah. way you put it, because here's the thing. Ultimately, you're talking about this as if you're a valuable dude. Right. But you don't think you're valuable enough to say, yo, yeah, I'm married. And, yo, I like to taste a little. I like a little slide side dish every once in a while. And right. that's how I rock out. He doesn't think he's worthy of that. So he literally went out and bought Home Depot boxes and put the Home Depot, built up, built the Home Depot boxes and, ha- and left them. So when the woman came in, she could see these Home Depot boxes. So, oh, he really is packing up, getting ready to move. What a scumbag All, move. So you what create this whole dinner move. theater. You clown. You effing clown. It's like, what are you doing? First of all, women who are going after him who are trying to holler at him in the first place they're there where is the, where is their accountability because of the fact they knew he was married right and he was supposed to be religious and they went and slid in the dms anyway not that i'm saying i'm i mean i'm not knocking the hustle because i'm i'm like listen you're gonna do what you want to do but don't you can't it go holler at follow a guy who yeah. is talking about fidelity yeah. Right? And and religion and follow that guy and be a fan of what he does and then try to break up his marriage is a very strange thing. Yeah. Like, I mean, he that's I mean, that's not part of what he does. That is yeah. all that he does. That's all he does. Talking about maintaining honorable relationships through the use of the Bible and through uh, under God 
or whatever. And then you're sliding into the, his DMs going, I'd like to get some of that. Like, it's just very strange. Like, yeah, what kind of a person are you to follow him? And what kind of a person is he that he goes? Yes. And that you're still yeah. on board. Yeah, it's just a fraudulent the whole way yeah. around. But something that I'm really realizing more and more is and this is this has been the theme of the podcast for 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 a couple of years now. And I'm realizing how we've you know, we've kind of turned the corner and we realize that everything is based on that that whole idea that you don't think you're worthy. This is just you shoplifting the pussy. But you you're you're under the under the pressure of the agency, which is religion or biblical or whatever. And this is your hustle. But you're just a con artist. So that was the whole thing. They then he came on and he had a conversation. He he addressed his following. Right. He addressed his following that this had happened and he was sort of apologizing that they were going to move forward in a relationship and blah, 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 whatever. She right. Knows and then I told her everything. And we're, you know, we've, we're doing the counseling and we're, we're getting through this together. So he takes full responsibility with her there. Uh, and then cut to, uh, I guess a year, two years later, whatever. Yeah. The boys back at it again. He back got at caught. it again. Yeah. So I don't know if you know the whole story. He was out at uh, Art Basel in Miami, Art Basel, I think they call it. It's a big art festival in Miami. Okay. And I guess he was spotted with his other chick, and I think it was Tasha Kay that re- released the photographs, I do believe. Okay. Um, who went after him the first time. And uh, then when those photos get released, apparently he goes online and releases a statement that uh, he and his wife, after months of, uh, after months of contemplation and you know other... Other big words, you know, under God and all this, uh, we have decided to separate, uh, which there is some discrepancy because this just happened over the weekend as to whether or not the wife knew about this. Oh, re- wait, wait, wait. So so they didn't even have this conversation. He just that's he's done- the, that's what is up in the air as of the time of this recording. Now, if you ask, ask Tasha K, uh, I hope I'm getting that right. Is it Tasha K? Right. Uh, let me see. Um she would tell you that the wife was not aware and certainly the county and the town that they live in is not aware because she did her research on it. So supposedly this might have been him just throwing that out there and that yeah. she is uh, she has been blindsided by this whole thing. The wife. Wow. wow. And, and so but this is this is as as much as uh, it just you want to go, you effing clown. It, I, I think that there's something really um, interesting about that. My first thing I think that's really interesting is the, the fact that um, here's a guy, good looking guy in great shape, like um, clearly would not have a problem getting a chick, but he's living a lie, right? First, he's living a lie in the in the biblical sense of things. It's like, I look, and, and don't get me wrong, I'm not judging, I, like I don't believe none of that. Right. I don't believe none of it at all. I, there's no reason for me to believe that. So, so morally, I'm not judging anything on the in the context. I I just think that if you really want to talk about the morality of things, the morality of things is that you don't, or, or at least you make an effort to not do things to somebody with the intention of with lies and in, in the inside, which is so interesting. And this is a clip we need to clip. Is the only reason why a guy lies to you is because he cares about you. He lies okay. because because when he doesn't give a fuck about you, right? Hmm. He don't care what you know. A guy who don't who who is not invested in you. Yeah, that's right? interesting. I'm all right. Go on. I'm, I'm now. I get this. what you. I get where you're going. Where like he might lie to get what he wants, right? But he lies to get what he wants because he thinks that even if the sex itself is valuable, he thinks that he is not good enough to tell the truth and get what he wants. So he needs to misrepresent himself as if he's more than he is mm. so that you go, yes, I'll, 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 I'll give you a slice of pie. Wow. But I guess what, what about a guy who's just lying because he doesn't want to deal with the consequences of it? You know, he wants what he wants. I mean, because that can happen too. a guy's. Just yeah, but if you don't dick. care about the consequences, you could say, look, here's the thing. If Drake I'm, and, and I'm, I'm Drake does this 
where he'll see a chick, he sends his his I guess his handler, his his I don't know if you call him his handler, but he'll send a dude. Yo, Drake wants you. You want to come over to Drake's table? Drake would like to have you come over to the table. Sends the dude. You know what this is about, right? Mm -hmm. Then you got to sign an MDA, right? To to if you if you go home with him, you got to uh, sign an NDA. Oh, I didn't know about you, all this. Is this? Oh, okay. Right. So here's a guy who's who understands what his that women find him attractive, that his money and his fame allows him to say this like a re a dude who works at white castles is not gonna be like yeah baby listen i need you to sign this nda yo i got a girl um and she don't get off from wendy's until later so why don't you slide by my studio apart with my three with my three roommates let me hit you off and then uh uh I'm, i'll have you i'll, and then I'll sign this you home. NDA. Right. So MDA. it's not MDA. You feel what I'm saying? So the context of it, I understand when you well, look at us. All right. So because Drake is so has such star power, right. right, that he can do that. And a woman will say yes, because she is so infatuated with meeting Drake that she'll go. Right. Yeah, I don't care. I'm she willing thinks, to do that. She thinks that he's more valuable than she is. Right. And she's willing to she's really willing to do whatever she has to do for whatever moment of 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 I guess success or or, or a connection she could have with Jay, Drake for whatever period of time. This is a memory. This is a one one uh, which which is funny because I remember this girl. Um, she was like a star fucker, and she was like, "Yeah, I um, not I want to say Delroy Linden, but it wasn't Delroy Linden. It was a uh, High Tower from uh, from Police Academy. Yeah, no, uh, High Tower from uh, oh. Lethal Weapon. Who played Lethal Weapon? Who played... Uh, Danny Glover and... Danny and, uh, Glover. She was like, yeah, one time I hooked up with Danny Glover and we were like, you should never tell anybody that. Yeah. Like this. But, what year but was this? this? Is that the, depends on how good that story is. Because if this is 87... You it know. wasn't 87. Oh, boy. It wasn't? It was... Oh, no. 2017? Oh, Jesus. No, yeah. No, 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 no. That's yeah, like, if you're no, bragging about... I, one time I gave a hand job to Jimmy Stewart. It would be like your grandma but, but later let's, on. Yeah. yeah, let's be honest. Even if you talk about 87, it's still, you know. You, I'm just you putting know. it in proper perspective. It ain't the hot, you know, it, he, Danny Glover wasn't the hottest star in 1987, but it's a lot better than bragging about it in 2017. You know, I, I can't see anybody bragging about Danny Glover ever. As the guy, the hot guy that you hooked up with, but what you know, whatever. You I mean, when he was done fucking, or he went. Ah, I'm getting too old for this <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> but this is, but this is yeah. what we're talking about. We're talking about dudes who are in the in this game. They don't. They're dishonest, but they're dishonest because they don't really think they're worthy of the time, effort, or energy that they're putting in the so first. You say place. worthy, right? You know, if that it, when you say worthy, and I've experienced this because before uh, I was with my girl now, and I was on my last hurrah, my last singles run, as I like to say, the retirement tour. I was in. I was had a roster of about between six and eight at any given at its peak, right? And so. I did that, and women, some women wanted it to be exclusive, and I would say that's not what I, I would tell them up front, and some women said no, right? And then they were like, no, nah, I'm not into that, and then they left. But the thing is, I asked that question because I thought I had enough value, and I did because it worked because right. I was happy. The women were happy, but you have to have and enough. And that, that might have had a shelf life. It, it, in it fact, it did have a shelf life. For me that's, personally, that's, yeah. That's not the point. The that's point the is... Point, yeah. I mean, there's no way you can lie and it not have a shelf life as well. Yeah, and the shelf life. No, also the shelf life of lying is a lot shorter. Yeah. Because listen, I could have kept doing it. I could be doing it today if it's. I just there's other reasons I don't do it anymore because it's just you know, after a while it became this whole other thing that I, I wasn't you know, it wasn't the most optimal life. It was fun. It was always fun, but. But the point is, you're able to. It, I have here's no the thing: is it really fun? Even when it's fun, it's fun. It's work because of the idea of it. It's not like if you look at the practicality of it. Yeah. Once you understand the practicality, once you understand that you can do it. Secondly, that you can do it. Thirdly, it that when you if you can do it, right? 
that what it entails and what it entails to maintain. And then you that's the only time it's 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 weird. I've told guys, even guys that I've counseled extensively, I'm taking them from being virgins to, to having threesomes. It's, threesomes is a great thing until you but you don't you have to have enough threesomes that you go, yeah, I don't do do it with, like the newness of it, the excitement of it has to wear off before you understand, is this really something I want to do? And and do I want to do this? See, the reason why people, guys, if a guy gets a threesome, he'll he'll want to have a threesome and then, but he'll, ha- he'll want to have a threesome, but he'll also be in it like, well, I got to take it now because this is the opportunity, which is the same way a chick will just disregard any of her self-respect because Drake wants to holler at her. Mm. Because... Right. He may never be in your goofy town again. And even if he does, who's to say that he's going to pick your goofy ass about it? And you're scratching a lotto ticket, but I guess they, they whatever, they scratch that lotto ticket. They're willing to do it. And but even if they don't expect anything more from it, they're still going, this is something that I'm I'm willing to. But the point is, because Drake put himself out there and has that value, they're willing to, to do it, right? They're right. willing to say, yeah. Well, they, they actually give Drake the value. Do you know what I mean? Like I, I know a lot of chicks that wouldn't sleep with Danny Glover, no, <laughs> you know, no matter what. So I mean, I, I think you it's an arbitrary value, just the same way men put an arbitrary value on. I mean, we, we we're constantly going, well, this means this to me, or this woman looks like this, or she is this is who she is, or this is who she is, and because she is this, I want to sleep with her because I so I can say that I slept with her. But it, yeah, it yeah. because when that's you, the prize you you view that as the prize sometimes because it it strokes your ego to be able to just sleep with as many women as possible. So, but then for this dirtbag to do this and then spring it on her, it's like first of all, it's just it's unkind. Like I like I, I look, I get that in a minute. That, and I've said this, uh, you know, I had a bunch of consultations this week. And one of the things that I've said over and over again, that look, when a woman uh, no longer has that fire for you, it she will drop you like a hot potato. It's instant. The fact that she doesn't have that emotion, she doesn't have that that sense of 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 urgency to be with you or spend time. You're done. So. It's it's so interesting to watch this, and now all of a sudden, I, I mean, it's just it's so hypocritical. I, I I don't like I don't have a problem with a dude who who wants to play the field, wants to be with Mo. I I, I just have a problem with it, the fact that he's not willing to say so. Sure. I also it does. Uh, here's another thing. A couple of takes on this. They're like, oh, he how can he be a uh, a relationship guru, and now he's going to have his second divorce or whatever it is, uh, if that's the case. Listen, being a relationship guru, by the way, doesn't mean that every relationship if it's real, that every relationship is perfect. I don't even doesn't even bother me that he's getting separated. No, you no. Know, I, because what bothers it takes me is, two parts. is that it's he's a liar. That he's a liar. Yeah. That he's trying to be this religious virtuous person and he meets this woman uh, that he meets under religious circumstances and then he gets everything he wants in a wife, right? Supposedly. And then what does he do? He goes off and Gets a non-religious wife or non-religious right. starts hooking up with non-religious girls that that are thoughts that are just, you know, that are willing to hook up with a married guy via DM, yeah. via Instagram. And yeah. that's the type of person he is. But he created this hypocritical brand because he's selling books to women, telling them what they want to hear and just always blaming men and everything that he does. And and but he's a liar from the get go. He's created this persona. He this is how he makes his living. And by the way, he's going to continue making his living because for whatever reason, religious people, it doesn't matter what you do and how many times you screw up. They always keep coming back. They well, always. It's also, keep coming back. it's also I think that some people are like everybody is so preoccupied with their own shit that they're not really holding people accountable, especially if you like somebody. If somebody is telling you what you want to hear. You, we're fine with the fact that they may be liars. If you, I mean, how many preachers we we know that was grooming boys, and you know, like uh, there was a dude, uh, Eddie Bishop Long. I think he was in Atlanta. What was the guy? Let, Let me see. see. I, he, uh, Eddie Bishop Long. Yeah, 
uh, this dude was like huge church, right? Mega pastor. Yeah, he's one mega, of those mega church pastors. You know, uh, prosperity pastor as well, you know? Mm. Um, one of the but, first articles that pops up, the death of Eddie Bishop Long and homosexuality, <laughs> dot, 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 and from Essence.com. Yeah, which is... Uh, and look, I don't what, care that he's a homosexual. None of that matters. Love is love. Love whoever you want. But don't run around telling people that it's wrong to be a homosexual and then and just go hanging out and just banging, uh, banging young boys. Yeah. You know, or young men. I don't know how the age, but that's whatever. I don't know the full story on it. I don't want to end up giving erroneous information. But don't be a hypocrite. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want to lead your lifestyle, lead it. But the right. worst is the, the, the hypocrisy of saying that it's wrong. It's a sin, and then you end up doing the same thing. Yeah, it, it's you. You want to you want to go homosexuality is the is an abomination, and then you tapping people's feet in a in a truck stop. It's it's just like, and, and so you're willing to t- But but you know what's interesting even about that, um, even when it comes to that, what are we talking about? We're talking about people who are not, um, who who are dishonest and don't even believe that they can be uh honest about who they are they don't they're mm-hmm. not living their truth because of the fact that they think that other people um that other people's opinions are more important like it's it's a weird thing because i've watched a lot of the dudes who are you know in this red pill this red pill or this man in, in what we would call the manosphere and we're literally in a place where Guys are dishonest about they're angry and they're dishonest, and then it, it's become all these guys talk about, yeah, blame it being women, angry women, women, women yeah. yeah, women, a lot of women is fucked up, they do a lot of shit, they have integrity, amnesia, but you, you also don't want to, you don't want to switch places either, you don't want to be in a situation where you, you have to worry about whether you're raped or killed every time you go out, and and I mean, when, what is it, one in four women have a sexual experience, assault, some type of sexual assault or harassment, yeah. And this, I read this article. I forget what who the article was, but I was talking about the fact that when men go to prison and they get they get raped or they get taken mm-hmm. advantage of sexually, nine times out of ten, they never get back to where they were. Like women, you know, women go to therapy and they deal with this, and it becomes a part of you know, it almost becomes a part of the the society that we've created, and then they. Put the well, work in to there's fix more themselves. Of a, there's at least, I guess, a support. Both of it. Both of them is rough. I mean, it's, sexual assault is rough no matter what. But there is a support system that is different from women than it is for men. I guess maybe more due to the stigma that we deal with. Uh, just two from thirds, therapy. Two thirds and, of the girls that I've dated have mm-hmm. had some kind of sexual assault, if not emotional, if not physical, emotional, or and everything in between. God, you know, if I break it down, it might be more than two thirds of experience. Yeah, at least but, I would. Yeah. And that's conservative you know what, that you thirds. know of that, you know, of because not all of them tell where you. I know yeah. where the woman said, yes, I yeah. was raped. Yes, I was. Sexual yeah. So, yes, I was. It's, molested. it's an awful thing. It's horrible. So it's horrible. And I don't know what that percentage is for men. But I know I do know that because there's always been so much of a stigma on it with the opposite sex. For the years that you know, and maybe that'll change because there's an openness of it. Um, there's an openness, but the fact that it's such a stigma on that, it's like it, it, it's, it's even not just the shame of being taken advantage of, but the shame of being taken advantage of and not being a man. And I'm not saying that that's worse or better. I'm just saying that a, a, what's really unfortunate is in a sophisticated society sexual assault when it comes to women is 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 by societal terms more acceptable which is just absurd because of the damage that it does yeah because of because of it is it's like snap back like i don't have uh, but it, it's you but you also find these toxic relationships because people are not putting the work in to to, to fix themselves Well, so the one thing that really there's a lot of things that bug me about Derek jackson but um the, the thing is that he comes out and he does this thing where he just blames men the whole time, that it's women, you know, uh, it's, you're afraid of men, we're afraid of, men are afraid to be accountable, uh, they're afraid of strong women, this, that, and it's placating just towards this female audience who wants to hear what they want to hear. When we do our show, 
the one thing we always start out with it is it's always the man's fault, right? That yeah. the relationship, it's on us. We take, and that's, I think, what makes us different from pretty much everyone else's show is yeah. that we go, it's on us as men. It's on us. It's on us to lead properly. It's on us to whether we allow this to happen in a way, whether we provide the right direction, whether we provide the right comfort, all that stuff. It's on us. But it also doesn't absolve women as if women right. don't have any part of this. Any, any at, culpability or any, any, culpability any accountability. Whatsoever. Yeah, it's, Look, it's ridiculous. If you're dating a girl who's just a toxic woman, you know, it doesn't matter what type of relationship guru you are. If you're, if you're dealing with somebody who's not, it takes two to participate in a relationship. And sometimes the other party has a lot of trauma or they're uh, a, a damaged human being. And it's not just on you to fix it. That's different than going, girl, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't understand yeah. you. And blah, blah, blah. And it's just, you a it's queen, just, don't you? Like, queen. first of all, are you a queen? Like, are you a, are you a queen? I mean, and only you can answer as a woman. You, the only person that can answer that is you. The, the question, are you, are you, and are you, are you acting with a level of integrity? Are you somebody who's being the best version of yourself? Is there a moral aspect of what you're doing is, and look, don't get me wrong, sex work, pimping, hoeing, whatever the fuck it is. I mean, you can do whatever you want. But if you do what you want, I get to have a preference just like you get to have a preference. When you don't want to date a guy who's five, five, one, five foot or five one, you get you get to say, I don't want to I don't want to date short guys. But I get to sh I get to say, I don't want to date somebody who's got her ass all over Instagram. Now, don't get me wrong. Hmm. I love, you know, my Instagram is full of booties. My it's littered with booties. The point is, it's those plethora, are not. But I'm plethora not. Plethora of booties. Yeah, I'm, it's 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 ridiculous. It's absurd. Yeah. There's an absurd amount of twerking going on my Instagram page. I mean, it's it's crazy. It's, it's crazy. It's like a it's like a plague, right? It's just a plague of booties. It's wall to wall asses over there. Just 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 converging on my page, just one after the next after the next. Sometimes I'll I'll be scrolling for hours, just mm. just rating booties and just you know. Oh, I don't like this one. Her ankles are too thick. Like I get so picky. I I guess well, listen, I, you know when you get into the, the thousands, who likes now a you got who likes a a, a, a teardrop ass when you can have a basketball. I like it. You know, it just gets absurd. Yeah, okay. But I get to have my. I get to put the value on and choose what I want, just like women get to ch choose the value I want. Now, if I am not somebody who has the value to, to have access to what I want, then I gotta, I gotta work on that. I, I really gotta work. I well, just... what, the one, the, what you don't do though, is you don't get into a relationship with somebody who you know is like an Instagram model or a stripper and right. then get furious when they go to work and go, I don't want you stripping anymore. I don't want you fucking anymore. I don't like your lifestyle. I'm disgusted by it. You, you go, that's not for me. That's it's not, not for a me. relationship, which I'm is I'm not okay. judging it. I'm just, well, I am judging it, but I get to judge it in the context of what. Of how it affects you, but not how, how it, it affects, affects me them. and do yeah. I want to do it. And, and, and I don't have to be liberal about it. I don't have to be understanding. Just like you don't have to, you don't have to date a, a, a five foot guy if you don't want to. You don't have to. You have to date a dude with a little dick. You don't have to date a dude that looks like Sam Cassell. You could. You could choose what basketball you want player to choose. Sam Cassell. Yeah, he's. Oh boy. Yeah, he's yeah, legendary. I remember Sam. Sam is legendary. But look it up. He's legendary. But the thing that gets me is that this dude is a tall, good-looking, in a lot of shape, but just in his mind, where's the mentality in terms of what his value is? And the reason why his value is. So so diminished is because he's got it fucked up in terms of what's important, you know, um, his value is within that that church community is the thing. He's built his legacy yeah. and yeah. his life around that audience. And that's why it, it, that's where he's leaning his value. He's, he's genuinely a scumbag. But instead of going out, actually, you know what? He's a scumbag for what he did, not for yeah. what he wants to do. Because no, if you want to date just Instagram models or just hot chicks, club chicks, no worries. That's fine. But fine. it is it is when you go Women out Women could you, say no just like yeah. you could want to do it. It's it's this there's no harm, no foul. It, you know, this is an interesting thing because I um I, I, I did a I did two consultations with the same dude this weekend and, and one of the things was um 
So the scenario is an interesting scenario. Mm. Um, he was in a relationship, smoking hot chick, stripper, right? You know, definitely all the all the all the uh all the checked all the boxes, hated her father, this, that, the absence of low self-esteem, whatever. With this girl for a long period of time and constantly very toxic, breaking up, getting back together, this this questionable about what was being done. Finally, um the, the dude that called me found out that the girl cheated on him and he broke up with her, right? Correct. He okay. finally breaks up. And I mean, so this is five years of them going back and forth. How, how who knows how many times they bro broke on up and got back together. Um, but now because he meets a girl who he, in his mind, he goes, this is a good one. This is one of the good ones oh, boy. because she has, because she's not treating him like trash. So this is an in, this is also an interesting concept. Simply like men's expectations of women is so low that as long as you're not treating me like total trash, she's a good one. Because somebody offers to pick up the bill every once in a while. Because somebody not I, you know it's funny. It's it's like I've seen women um bully and trash the chick who says, "I want to cook for my man. I want to. I want. He want. I want yeah. somebody to take control. I want somebody who's strong enough to lead my home, and I want to be submissive. And so somehow now, even in the context of of women having this empowerment, now all of a sudden you want to judge my empowerment. You like I can't even like what I want. If I want to be a housewife." Uh, somehow there's something wrong with me because I don't I want to be a housewife and now it's, I'm fucked up right it's like the isn't the freedom supposed to be it's supposed to be it's just like anything else you know people talk about oh you can't say this you get when you and I battle this about about cancellation and I go yeah you you can say something you you can say whatever you want to say but you also there's a consequence to that. People sure. can make a choice about you and whether or not they want to they want to be a, 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 a consumer of whatever you're offering based on what you say or what you don't want to say. The, the problem is that there's not this. And, and what happens is what, what I and I keep saying this and I'm going to win Harry over on this thing. Okay. I keep saying when you get cut off from one side, then the other side loves you. So you get a guy like Kyle Rittenauer who kills two people and then a whole bunch of white supremacists and racists raise $300,000 for his legal fees. So now you got this kid who is being touted as a hero for, for murdering two people. And whether or not you agree with the with the verdict of him being you know, it, it being a situation of, of self-defense and I, this, the fact is that two people still died. There's, right. there's dead people behind this bullshit. So, so anyway, I'm getting back, backing up. So the guy gets this girl who's supposed to be the good one, right? Which I even question that because here's the thing. I, and, and we don't, here's the thing. Like, like you and I go out, most of the time I'll pick up the bill, but there's never a situation where you don't offer. I don't let you do that because you don't have it like I have it. Yeah. Now, if I didn't Very have generous. it, yeah. if I didn't have, if I, if we both had it, if, if we signed, if people signed up for Patreon the way they did and we were making more money, maybe I could pick up a bill every once in a while. That's fair. Yeah, it might be nice. So maybe give Support us, support us break. over at Patreon, <laughs> patreon.com slash man school 202. Sign up for bonus content. And then this way, Dante doesn't have to pay every time we go to uh, car mines. But, the, but the, the, uh, the, the, the point is, but if I'm in a situation where I'm picking up the bill yeah. all the time with somebody who has it, 50 to 50, 50, like if I pick up one and you pick up one and I pick up one and you pick up one, that's, he's not a great friend. That's, that's what he's supposed friend. to do. Uh, yeah. That yeah. this, we should be, have each other's back equally with whatever but somehow we can. but you know for example all right i don't pick up the bill because i don't have it like that but if you i mean i've literally taken your kid to the to the doctor or whatever because you couldn't you, yeah, you had work I, I or mean, whatever that's where i can contribute whatever it is it's not just money the point is, i'm not like, keeping track and yeah, neither not. are you yeah. and it's like 
and, and even I've, I've even seen times where you felt uncomfortable because maybe I've, I've had the ability to do things that you you wouldn't have. I've, I've seen you be uncomfortable. A little bit that. here and there. Yeah. So but always um, grateful. And always grateful. My point is, yeah. here's the situation where men's standard of what they expect of women is so low. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. having just somebody being nice to me. The, yeah. You know, oh, she took me out for dinner on my birthday. Oh, she picked up the check every once in a while. I, like, if and, and not- it, it can get worse than that. If you if you have a guy who's been in toxic relationships with with or is dating, you know, crazy women, just the fact that oh man, she doesn't scream at me. Yeah, she's a good one. She's one of the good ones. Yeah, you know, and that becomes a dangerous thing. It becomes a very dangerous thing when you set your standards so low that you go just because she's not stabbing me. This yeah. is this is this is wife material because Absolutely. it should be more wow, than I that. Don't, I mean, I don't, I, every time I go out. She's not yelling at me, one where the fuck I was, who was I fucking every time. So, I, so it was interesting. He, he had this toxic relationship, broke up, but it got the one where he calls the one, right? All of a sudden, he the, the, the toxic one hits him up and goes, yo, I'm in town, blah, 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 blah. So he steps out and hooks oh, up. Oh, wow. With the, it goes back to the toxic one? Yeah. And then, uh, and then he gets, uh, he gets a STD. Oh, so now the the good one says, hey, I um, I got an STD. Uh, wh- why did I have an STD? So then he goes back. Now he's hiding. He's scrambling because, you know, so the girl, the, 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 the wild chick says, wait a minute. I this is crazy. I had a test. Before I left and came to New York, I was to the GY and I had all my SDs. She, he goes, I'm going to go back and get another test. She gets a test. So she has a test before they slept together and a test after they slept together. Clean bill of health. OK, this is weird. So then the question is, this is the only chicks that he slept with was the, the wild ex-girlfriend. And the good one, which now the question is, if he knows in his heart that he, these are the only people he slept with, where did the chlamydia come from? It could have came from the good one. The good one could have stepped out and said, hey, this is a this is a situation. Yo, well, I didn't, you know, because he has a complicated mess, though, because he was just being dishonest. It's funky. It's yeah, it's of funky. course it is. But it's, it's it, now you have a situation where you have the toxic one who you don't know if she's lying. Just she right. could just be lying, right? Or your good chick could not be a good chick. But all this is what you get when you don't. You're not honest upfront with what you want, or you're not realistic with what you want, or, or right. open right. about what you want. Because what he would like is for to have a good chick who is also sexually amazing, right? Amazing, right? B- broken. <laughs> I mean. You don't have to be broken to be. It helps. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. It helps. <laughs> uh, just judging by uh, my dating history, my own, it helps. Yeah. But you can you can have both. But you have to be willing to sift through and say no to things and not just accept things that you don't want and be honest. And yeah. that can be painful. Uh, but also you have to believe that you can you can make those decisions and that you will find someone else. And the irony is that when you believe you do find what you're looking for when you do when you believe because you're able to say no and you're not you're not settling down because when you settle down on something that you don't want simply because you're afraid how can you be with the person you're meant to be with when you're stuck with somebody who is not right for you exactly exactly so i also want to put her she's also complete the wife is also complicit in this by the way okay because this is the type of dude he is Right. This is not you the first this. time this happened. You knew this. Well, right. But also this is her reaction. I just want to play something for oh, you, wow. Dante, because okay. this is Ooh. this is worth uh, showing. This is her reaction. I guess people were trashing her and him online as recently. I mean, that never stops. Well, well, the they were it. trashing her anyway when she had the bonnet on and she looked like they said yeah. she looked like a, a hostage. 
an it was not a great look in the apology video. Yeah, uh, where he had he's in shape and has his V-neck sweater. She showed up like I guess she just got out of the shower. Or bonnet was ready and for sweats. Bed. Yeah, bonnet sweats and glasses. Yeah, and I it's weird why she chose to do that. I don't know. Also, it's I don't, part of me wants to blame him, but at that point he can't exactly once he's doing an apology video for yeah, yeah. fucking around, he can't exactly go. Hey, you want to maybe put on some makeup before this because. Uh, this is on the internet. It's which forever. Also, it, which also refers to her level of, of dis- insecurity. Uh, in, her level of disrespect and lack, lack of, of, of insecure and, and lack of worth. The fact that she would put this video and not look her best. Well, let's, I'm going to show you the video that she made oh. um, when people were criticizing her and her, uh, her then husband, Derek Jackson. Guys, may the mercy Hold on. since speaking against the names Danaya Jackson and Derek Jackson in mockery, accusation, slanders, and lies, may the mercies of God be withdrawn from you. May your husbands and wives become widows. Let your children become fatherless. Let your sisters become vagabonds mm-hmm. on the earth. Let the words of your mouth and your words of your hands be returned back to you let it go down your throat and choke you slowly until your days <laughs> become few on the earth the word of god says touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm you've been warned and if you want to know where that warned. is at in the bible go to psalm 109 go Shut to up, psalm goofy, 35 bitch. go to psalm 140 go to psalm 141 mm. and keep our names out of your mouth in the name of Jesus. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed day, she closes. Have a again. blessed day. May you may it go down your throat and choke yeah. the life out of you. Yeah. So you get it first of all, in the name of Jesus. Like this is the this is like this is so fucking insane. Um yeah, that she's not this, too well. Yeah, she's out of her mind too. But she's nuts, and he's a scumbag. And honestly, they actually deserve each they other. They deserve. That's I was just going to say part, that they yeah. should never leave each other. They should stay together in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, and fuck each other over, and put curses on people for the rest of their lives. That's they should. They uh, the only thing they shouldn't do is raise some kids like Harry too late. do. And too late. um, it's too late. <laughs> they co- they're going to co-parent. They're co-parenting. <laughs> Oh, they got kids. Oh, they got they got at least one. Uh, so let me double check how many. But he mentioned co-parenting in the thing because in his Instagram thing, which is another phony thing, especially if it turns out that he's lying. Let me see if he's up there. Sorry. Every time I can't stand every time I open the thing up, the video plays and he's doing that fake interview and it drives me nuts. Um, so I'll read the statement uh, over the past several months. My family and I have gone through. This is a picture of him holding up his wife at the moment uh in happier times over the past several months my family and i have gone through many changes some of you have speculated while others of you have reached out to offer support as we privately not so private but established this new normal for ourselves and our beautiful children early this year after much prayer uh counseling and deep consideration we decided to go our separate ways and file for divorce filed for divorce making the decision to file was one of the hardest decisions of my life but i found peace knowing that our mission of raising healthy children started with uh with healthy and whole parents still being accomplished hold on can we play that clip again of her going i hope may you may you scumbag <laughs> suckle on the again, teat of the devil's again. ball sack play again, play again. and and add go in the gear that's youtube or no it's t- that's twitter. on that's on uh twitter hold on i'll pull right. it up here oh my god this is my goodness here let's, may let's you go may you by s- piece. suckle on the teats <laughs> of the devil's ball sack <laughs> you it's are just, out. it's such, like it's such, people are out of their minds of god since speaking against the names Danaya Jackson and Derek Jackson in mockery, accusation, slanders mm, and mm. lies may the mercies Pause of god that. Be- keep my name out your motherfucking mouth. mouth go ahead yeah, yeah. keep my oh, name out your yes. mouth you know, I can't uh, early this year after much, you know, it's it's wonderful a decision, but I found peace knowing that our mission of raising healthy children and starting with with healthy and whole parents is still being accomplished. Go ahead, let's let's hear the curse. Your husbands and wives become widows. Let your children become fatherless. Let, let you become widows. She was death. Wait, right, run that back again. She goes. Oh, that's what it said. 
Hold on. Accusations, slanders, and lies. May the mercies of God be withdrawn from you. May your husbands and wives become widows. Let your children become fatherless. Let your seed oh, become so vagabonds. Christian. That's so very Christian. I mean, I, this I is wish, actually I very wish Christian. You I wish your husbands and wives become widows. She's and, such a, in and, Jesus' name. And by the way, why is she saying this? Because people on the internet commented that maybe her marriage to Derek Jackson wasn't very good. Mm, yeah. <laughs> And their response yeah. was to murder, um, st you know, from falling in love as just teenagers to becoming spouses and new co-parents. I'm grateful for the years we've spent together and wouldn't trade them for anything. You, I mean, you literally did trade them. It's not you wouldn't trade them. You, right, right. you have you literally traded them on several occasions for something you deemed was better. I was blessed to have such an amazing person in my life and will forever be thankful for all she's meant to our family. We ask that if you pray, to please pray for us as we navigate the grieving process. If not, please respect our privacy. Good luck with that, bud. Um, so the, the interesting thing here from that is uh, we met as teenagers. So here's what happens. They were, were a religious couple, right? They met as teenagers. Right. Under, Teenage the, under the agency of, of evangelical or Christian belief system mm -hmm. that represses what their that represses their the sexuality honest, and human emotion the, yeah the honest sexuality of teenagers who just met and who would who would not should not be in a relationship in the first place they probably i don't know if they did fuck or didn't probably tried to re remain pure right until marriage yeah that, yeah, that and this is what happens dj money was not i i i doubt if he was my man dj, DJ money dj he was X? getting it in you think DJX was DTF? Is that what he you're was, saying, Dante? He was putting the D in the P. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Might have even put the D in the A a couple of times. In the name of JC, he was doing DP? In the name oh, of my JC, goodness. he was putting the D in the P. Man, so, DJX, whatever. bro. He was out there. I'm sure he maybe he wasn't. But the confines is he met this woman in church. It's supposed to be forever. He realized, she got a fatty. She definitely she got did. a fatty. But so what? Like, it's great that she's got well, one. When you, dog, when you're a teenager... And you got a fatty. <sighs> yeah, you're right, I guess. Yeah, you're right. I'm judging, uh, again, as a teenager, you don't know what, what you're see, doing. Let's see, you're a teenager and you run into somebody with some double D McGuffies. I know you like the McGuffies, the Jolos. <laughs> I do. I you do like love a, the fun bags. <laughs> nice set of Jolos. You know what I mean? You, it's you, Your testosterone is too high. You, also, you, you're not even. Here's the thing, by the way. Even if he is fucking around. The notion is that he's not supposed to be fucking around, right? Right. So if I get married, I can do all the fucking I want. Yeah. So let's get married, right? Let's get married so we could have the good fucking. And you're stuck in this relationship with these virtues that he realizes he doesn't really give a shit about. Right. He can't. How can you to continually do this over and over again? He's in there lifting weights, getting jacked. <laughs> all, all of that is, is, is fuck energy. <laughs> Fuck energy. <laughs> it's just all of that weight lift. You're saying that that's what drove him. You're like, hey man, are you taking creatine? Nah, man, this is all. Like, all nah. He's, you on the juice? Nah, it's all fuck energy. G. This is all Christ and fuck energy. Seventeen. His testosterone is at seventeen hundred, right? <laughs> he's just lifting weights, <laughs> <laughs> squatting and deadlifting. He can't. He's trying to. <laughs> this motherfucker's crazy. There's not enough weights in here. <laughs> I need the three even, of you he's to Christians. Me. He's Christian, so he can't even say fuck or shit. Dang, damn it. <laughs> he drops it. Ah, darn it. <laughs> he's, every time he Just, tries to jerk off, God's watching him. Oh, my God. What a <laughs> horrific lifestyle. I guess God was God watching him when he was banging this thought down in Miami? Well, he, that's why he bought those boxes. He was hiding behind the boxes. Oh, was, Apparently, oh, Jesus couldn't the see. The divine Lord and Savior can't see through boxes. It's and the, just, worst, the worst part of all this is that he is going to continue making a living as a relationship guru and women are going to keep buying his books because it's everything they want to hear. The certain segment of the audience is all they want to hear. There's nothing wrong with me, so I don't have to change. It's all on men. You it's know, all there's on a, men. There's, a, there's this um, uh, pastor, evangelical pastor Popoff, uh, Lenny Popoff. I thought it was Peter Popoff. Was Peter, Popoff. Peter Popoff. Peter yeah. Popoff. Peter Popoff. This is the dude that when you go late night, he would be selling prayer oil and 
and uh, and magic cloth and shit, making making selling magic cloth, a, a swatch of magic cloth for one hundred seventy five dollars and hmm. and a, a basically a duck sauce package of of holy water. He was. Hmm. <laughs> did you you see see if you can bring that up? The fucking he had the the holy water in a duck sauce package <laughs> that you get <laughs> when you donate over a hundred dollars. You yeah. dirtbag. Oh, so Peter, Peter Popoff's Popoff. Miracle Spring Water. Let's see if I could pop there it you up. Go. You see the video? <laughs> let's see if it... Let's see. Hold on. Let me pull it up here. Uh... If, what's... <laughs> so, let's but this here. dude, Peter Popoff, he, he got exposed and by a I dude that... Um... Oh, yeah. Hold on. Look at this. It's two duck sauces. Throughout the Bible, God used water as a point of contact. <laughs> Today, God, God is using the miracle contact. spring water the same miracle way. Miracle spring water. And I called you, and I took the miracle spring water, and mm. I've been delivered from drugs and alcohol. When I drank the miracle water, spring water. Uh, you drank? Can you drink it? I got my job back. He got his job I'm back. I'm working. Um, I'm drug free. He's drug free. And that's what happens when you drink the miracle You ain't drug free. <laughs> you don't look In drug free. And the banks had told me you should that put some I of that spring water in the roots, home. girl. That hair is and dry. That's what do. We, I prayed, I believed, I followed every prayed, instruction, and on May 26th, we what closed happened? Happened? on our dream home. You closed on your dream oh, home thanks to the spring water. You know what? If, I, if he gave me that, water. you know what? I'd be it's like, free. yo, can I, I to send it to you. Can I trade no, these I'm back in for duck sauce, please? You got to get three duck sauce. No, no, only two duck sauce. Yo, give me, yo, I don't want the sauce. I'll give you the soy sauce back. And the spring, no, water. No, I'll give no. you two spring waters and three spring waters and two soy sauce. Oh my God, what a what a lunatic! So he he would go into the audience the and says, go. Beloved, I wish go into the things. audience and go. You're from your name is I'm I'm seeing a, a, a the name the name uh, it's a sister a, a woman a woman who's sick. Was, he would do this. What he they would do, would do is reading, they were yeah. interviewing them in advance, and then he had a he had a transmitter in his ear. And they was and they were feeding him the information that they had already, they had already interviewed these people before. If and you want to dude... look up something fun, look up uh, James Randi, the Amazing Randi. He was a guy who would debunk all these things. He, he, was a magician. he figured it out and found the yeah. transmission, <laughs> and but he recorded. Anyway, the... Your point of bringing him up is he's still out there, right? Peter Popov is still, still out spring there. Spring water, you can still get three spring water. For uh, for a tiny donation of over two hundred fifty dollars, or we'll allegedly it. whatever it is, but if you get it, you got to give a certain amount of money to get the free, the free spring water. He'll also sell a a, a, a holy swatch. Um, there's an anointing oil. He got a nice hustle. But this dude was exposed to be a fraud, and he still he still kept he's still back in the game. Took a little bump. People forget and they move on. And this all is, things through Christ, my friend. All things it, through Christ. So, where's the integrity? Um, but I wanna, I wanna talk about the um, my man. Is, there's a thought that I wanted to say, but let's um, let's Let shut it down Patreon. and we're gonna go do the Patreon. Um, listen, if you want to spend your money right, we won't send you spring water, but Dante no, will give you not, blessings. We will if give you, you some of this truth. If you <laughs> subscribe to the Patreon, my brothers, my sisters. Patreon.com slash Manschool202. Uh, wonderful things will happen to you. I You're promise like, you. I, we promise you. Change that your we, life. All you, things through God. The only thing is you won't have an abundance of sperm. Yeah. Your sperm. <laughs> your sperm. We, listen, if you donate enough money to the Patreon, we will send you the magical jizz cloth, and you can wipe down... You can wipe the, um, down. You can wipe that jizz off them booties that we'll hook you up with, and it's really like you really can have this. The thing, you know what? It, anyway, look, let's shut it down. Let's talk let's behind it. Behind it. it. We're going to talk more. patreoncom slash manschool 202 That's where we do the bonus content. And please support us. It helps. It helps keep the show rolling. We're trying to do this honestly without selling uh, tap without, water in a bag. Without to buying rubes. fucking Home Depot boxes. Without. <laughs> Man, being righteous is, is expensive, bro. It's, it's hard. It's, it's they don't want they want the fucking hype. Everybody wants to everybody wants to be in a Bugatti. You know, <laughs> like oh, uh, like Andrew Tate. <laughs> oh, the way you pronounce it, Bugatti. Everybody a wants Bugatti. a Bugatti.
Anyway, join us over at patreon.com slash manschool202 for more. This I feel like this bonus show is going to be a, a banger. So yeah. join us over there. Uh, all my stuff, social media, at Harry Turjanian and uh, Dante Nero. We, uh, for consult, cons- ah, why can't I talk today? For consultations, go to DanteNero.com slash, man, uh, slash consult. And click on consult. And for consultations for me, email me uh, advicefromharry at gmail.com.